Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women and children cases. We are here to break the codes if we see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located if they know. And we also here to see they are alive, deceased, the body suited. The Irish should know who's involved, the white supremacists, the African Americans. Yes, deja vu, just had surgery, okay. Um, I know I'm supposed to be doing these yesterday. I'm doing, I'm doing every week on Tuesdays, anytime. Um, I get a call, but I was not in my element. So let's begin. Y'all should know who involved Gina, because Gina named her after her. Okay, so let's begin. This is about a young woman named Mary Louise Walker, vanished after domestic violence incident in 1995. This is how she looks. She telling me she have no information right now of her relatives, okay? Like many women, 39-year-old Mary Louise Walker was trapped in a repetitive cycle of an on-again, off-again relationship with a dangerous man. Okay, the most high. Okay, or my James, something like that, or Gina. Okay, Mary and her longtime boyfriend were known to have a history of domestic violence in relationship. And while several agreed that she needed to cut him off for good, not many believed that the brutality would be the central focus of her disappearance. On December the 16th, 1995, Mary was at her home in Long Beach, California, when things between her and her boyfriend turned hostile. Okay, yes, like we're waking up off the lethal injections. Okay, so if my could have a body suit on them right now. When things between her and her boyfriend turned hostile, a witness at the home with the couple told authorities that they saw the boyfriend punch Mary in the face, knocking her unconscious. Okay, monster. Yes, she actually telling me shake that house that the monster scene took place in. She said shake that whole area. It said that the boyfriend immediately told the witness to leave the house. Mary has not been seen or heard from since. <clears throat> the boyfriend who continues to be a suspect in Mary's disappearance, but hasn't been formally named in public reports, is currently serving a prison, prison sentence on unrelated crimes and charges. Yes, when we busted the house, I was right, there was five people living in the house. When we busted the house, she was actually the one who got arrested. That's not her. She's saying she actually deceased. That's why some people done got booked, you know, booked off, not bumped off, okay, because they want other people to get the sheets, okay. Yes, somebody in her body suit. Investigators believe that Mary was murdered, but her case remains open, okay. Somebody, you know, because she's getting ward, unsolved, and cold. Mary considered to be endangered, missing, and is a dependent adult. It is noted that she is delivery and is said to have major difficulties functioning on her own. At the time of her disappearance, Mary Lee Reese Walker had a petite frame standing at 4 feet 10 inches or 4 feet 11 inches and 90 pounds. One of her legs is longer than the other due to a childhood bout with polio. I actually got polio too. Mary has black, dark brown hair, brown eyes, and goes by the nickname Weezy, W-E-Z-Z-Y. She has big surfacial hair on her chin and a noticeable scar from her right hip down to her knee. Okay, she said she want Little Wayne to work on this case. She's saying she know Little Wayne. She said, Wayne, you know my son. From Pawu. Both her ears... Uh, yes, she said me too. He looked he was the big one. Both of her ears has two piercings and her nose is pierced. Mary also had tattoos including three cherries on the left side of her back with the stem tied into a bow and a red and black rose with a banner that had the letter Doc D O C on her left arm. About the cherries, she saying they being funny, okay? About what happened to the Pyro boys. Mary was last seen wearing a black, the dock means them being in people's bodysuits. Okay, black rose, you already know. 
Maybe we were last seen wearing a black and white long sleeve shirt with black jeans and a black corduroy shoes. I once lived not far from where Mary was last seen, and it's sobering to know that just a few zip clothes away, this person who would depended on those around her to nurse her and care for her was being beaten, abused, and taken advantage of, and it may have led to her death. Also, she's saying shit, that kid, that kid place that I thought Michael owned, he do not own that. And it may have led to her death. That do make sense, could not, could that play the right next to my old house. And I was really, like, getting weird vibes from that place. Um, and that other place. It used to, it used to, it used to change it out, though. It used to, it used to be a daycare, then it became something else. Um, okay. And it may have led to her death. Anyone with information regarding the disappearance of Mary Louise Walker is urged to contact the Long Beach Police Department at 562-570-8018 or their local authorities. Please share this story about Mary Louise Walker to help reunite the investigation to her case. She is our sister and her life matters. So if y'all like to help with this case, y'all can. I don't do it for the fame and the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. Okay. Um, I'll finish say something, but I forgot. Enjoy. No need.